Hi, this is Thomas Oldroyd, Senior Director of Marketing with InsideSales.com. Please welcome David Bloom, CEO of Learnature, as our next speaker. David is the founder of Learnature, a sales training and enablement SaaS solution that helps teams sell smarter and close deals faster in a collaborative way. He's a results-oriented strategic thinker with a diverse background in marketing and sales leadership. He's worked with business executives to solve business problems through the evaluation and implementation of marketing-leading cloud-based enterprise software. David is passionate about helping people and teams achieve massive success. I'm sure he hears jokes all the time about not putting his feet on the learnature. Go ahead, David. Hey, thanks for that intro and for having me today. I'm super excited to be here, share some sales learning best practices and tips on how to train millennial sales teams. Now, sales training has changed ton since I started my career. That's actually why I started Learnature. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to share some of the things I've learned. And I hope you walk away with uh, some good actionable tactics. So let me start with a personal story from my own sales journey. My first corporate sales job was over 10 years ago when I got hired by a top 10 global pharmaceutical company, GlaxoSmithKline. Now, there was a ton of learning to do during the onboarding. It was over four weeks. There was very uh, two weeks of home study to start and then two weeks of old school type of classroom training. Now, the company had hired over 60 new salespeople. It was almost like a class and they flew us all into HQ. And in thinking back, it's crazy how much money and time was actually spent on it. So fast forward to, to 2013 when I joined a, a small tech company called Salesforce.com. Okay, so it wasn't uh, not that small, but regardless, I was super pumped. I mean, I can still say today what a great company it is. One of the most innovative, well, ranked the most innovative company in the world last bunch of years by Forbes. I went out to California for the boot camp, and the onboarding was just, it was great. It was fantastic. A lot of fun, but I was I was kind of surprised that even one of the most forward-thinking companies in the world was still keeping a little bit old school uh, and real heavily weighted on classroom training. Now, don't get me wrong, I learned a lot and it's not that that doesn't work. In fact, Salesforce does a great job with the whole, the 90-day follow-up and what happens afterwards is, is, is great, but everyone really needs to understand the downside of classroom or event-based training that if the learning is not reinforced properly, up to 90% of that learning can get lost within 30 days. That's just emphasizing how important it is to reinforce these things. And that's, of course, what I was personally most worried about when I was about to get back to the office. I mean, how, how was I going to remember all of this information, right? The, the product pitches, the objection handling, customer personas, competitive differentiators. Uh, I mean, I, I would know that I heard it before at training, but... But how can I find that information quickly without having to bother people necessarily? And, and what about all the new learning, product releases, competitors, new sales processes that, that's going to be added on top of that? I mean, how was I going to keep up with all this? Well, let me continue with, uh, with the story. I, uh, I go back to the office on Monday and I'm super, super excited to get going. I mean, my leader at the time says to me, you know, go sit and shadow on some sales call. So I remember I joined, I joined Jim, you know, an A player, top sales professional who's about to go on a discovery call. And he gives me his four minute overview of the best way to conduct a discovery call and then a quick summary of his goal for the call. I got to tell you, I wish I taped it because those four minutes, they were priceless and some of the best learning in my first month on the floor. Then around 30 days later, I've got my first deal ready to close, right? You never forget that first one, your, your first deal in a, in a new role. It was an order. It was, it was 10 licenses, but I had no idea how to process a quote. So I call in another colleague, you know, Neil, who joins me for five minutes on the closing call, walks me through, you know, how to put it together and process the quote. And again, priceless learning. I, w I wish I would have taped that one too so that I could refer back to it. I mean, I was so excited to close the deal. I wasn't really concentrating on, on how, to, how to process a quote. But there was others that could learn from this as well. Uh, I could go on with so many of these informal learning stories, you know, of colleagues that are just, they were there and we were learning from one another, casually in the row, 
or in the kitchen. You know, this informal peer-to-peer -peer learning was just always happening. And as more newbies joined our fast-growing team, similar questions, and even at times some of the more senior people would have questions. I mean, there, there's only so much that we can retain. Uh, all I could think about was how awesome it would be if I could just show these people the, the two short videos <laughs> that I never recorded. Um, and what if others took, you know, took their 1080p camera in their pocket and they recorded similar best practices, win stories, and how-to short videos? <laughs> I've obviously gotten really passionate about this as I knew there had to be a better way and that this training learning challenge has got to be on the mind of others. So my journey has led me to figure out ways to make our sales training efforts awesome. This sales training problem was quickly validated when I came across research that was done by the American Association of Inside Sales Professionals showing, and they're a great organization by the way, that that the in 2015 report showed the number one challenge inside sales leaders are looking to solve is in fact training and development. So it's ongoing training, doing it quickly, you know, focusing internal training on, on the company's products themselves, as well as the industries or verticals they sell into. And a big one was also finding time to actually do this. So th this research really intrigued me, but I still wanted to understand a little deeper. So we did some of our own informal research, speaking to over 200 professional, professionals in, uh, in North America. The opening question was simple. We asked, what, what are your challenges with training either you or your salespeople today? Now, there were a lot of interesting answers, but the three general themes that came up most were time. I mean, we just don't have it. Sales pros were too busy managing deals and trying to hit quotas and definitely don't want to spend time figuring out what learning or tr sales leaders are so busy managing our teams and the, and the business that we don't have time to really get involved in training development or, or delivery. Uh, on the engagement side of things is another challenge where is the learning engaging? Is it valuable for reps, especially with such low attention spans today? Reps are working on different deals. They've got different types. They all come from different backgrounds and experiences and are all at different skill levels. So this all requires different types of personalized training. And lastly, dollars and ROI. I mean, how do we measure if this is working and bringing value to the business? And how do those delivering the training itself, how do they know if they're doing a good job? So now what? <laughs> what do we do about these challenges? I mean, traditional sales training on its own is no longer as effective as it once was. Buyer's behavior have changed. Our sales processes have changed. I mean, we're using a lot more inside sales reps than in the past. It's hard to find great experienced reps. Managers, I mean, we don't even have enough time to, to coach the people we bring on. These younger millennial reps, they don't learn the old way. They need peer-to-peer, -peer, interactive, engaging, fun, and bite-sized learning. So now what? Where do we go from here? Well, let's start with what we like to call the four truths of sales pro learning and what you can do about them to really drive and accelerate business. Truth number one, I've got ADD. We've all got ADD. We know it, so let's address it. The short attention spans, the multitasking. There's actually a survey I read by the Trending Machine National Pool that says millennials are significantly more likely than seniors age 55 or older to forget what day it is or even where they put their keys. It's crazy, but not to worry. So <laughs> the good news is some of the most successful people that we know have similar short attention spans. Jim Carrey, Richard Branson, Michael Jordan, JFK, even Einstein and Walt Disney. So what do we do? We've got to keep our reinforcement learning short and sweet. Keep it bite-sized and in small chunks. Truth number two, we learn best at the bar, the title of this session. Now, not to get too literal, but if you think back to your last kickoff event, I can promise you that some of the best learning occurred at five o'clock when the team was at the bar sharing stories and best practices. Now, I'm not suggesting to have training at a bar, but it's essential to foster a culture with an element of ongoing, informal, and collaborative learning. Teams that encourage best practice sharing had 2x, double, double the quota attainment. That's it's massive. So what do we do? Well, be sure to have informal, peer-to-peer, -peer, collaborative learning, and best practice sharing incorporated into your sales learning strategy. 
Truth number three, we're not readers. When it comes to training retention, one minute of video is equal to 1.8 million words of text. So those long playbooks summarize the key parts in video and use rich media like video to capture core training content. Truth number four, we like things easy. Don't make us go on a scavenger hunt to find learning or resources that can help us hit our goals faster and more efficiently. What we need to do is make learning available in the tools and systems that we're already using every single day. Now, thankfully, technology today can really help us enhance and accelerate the, the sales training experience. So when looking at sales training technologies to accelerate sales and revenue growth, you know, you've got to think just in time, cloud-based, on-demand, like this type, these types of thing is not enough anymore. It needs to be smart and automated so that the right learning is delivered to the right person and in the right context. This saves them time. It helps reps spell smarter and focus on closing business. Delivering the learning in the systems that we're using every day, like our CRMs, just make it that much more accessible. The sales learning tool also must be collaborative and incorporate peer-to-peer -peer learning, best practice sharing, storytelling, competitive gaming. And I'm not talking just in sales huddles and team meetings, but capture it to scale the learning and have the ability to get these key success stories to the team quickly without having to wait for the next QBR kickoff. There's got to be analytics so you can link training to business outcomes and have visibility into the learning effectiveness. And of course, I reiterate the importance of using video. I know what you're thinking. You don't have time to make content, video content, but I got to tell you, it's much easier than you think. So I'm going to give you a couple quick tips here on best practices on producing and publishing videos. First, keep it short. We talked about intention spans, so keep it to three to four minutes. Use materials you've got already. You probably have most of the information already locked in large desks, decks, and presentations. Or, uh, or trapped in, you know, in like wiki content graveyards, I like to call them. There's tons of tools now, even free ones, to edit videos or quickly convert slides into, into video formats. And use your phone. There's no need for high budget productions. We all have 1080p's in our ca pocket, our cameras in our pocket. So use them in meetings, in huddles, demos, calls, wherever. Just capture best practices. You know, we do this so much in our personal lives this capturing of short videos, why not every day in business? Um, I'm going to give you some info on, a, on an ebook for some more information on this pretty soon. So full circle, from my own experiences, I found that learning from colleagues like the Jims and Neils is super effective when it came to both onboarding and ongoing learning. Uh, recording your Jims and Neils really and anyone else who wants to share their best practices, win stories, and how-tos within your organization will not only give them visibility as a, as a collaborator or mentor, but will also create a smart, scalable, best practice sharing machine to accelerate learning and revenue growth. That is the ultimate form of ongoing sales training today. So quick summary here in pictures. Learning challenges, quick. We've got no time. We've got to keep things engaging in a value and we need to show that it's helping the business. When we're thinking about tools to help us with from an acceleration perspective for sales and training, we need to be able to automate the process and serve up the right learning to the right person at the right time. Keep it collaborative with peer-to-peer -peer learning and have analytics so we can link the learning back to business outcomes. Lastly, we talked about the four truths of sales pro learning. We've all got ADD, so keep learning short and sweet. Best learning at the bar, keep it informal, peer-to-peer -peer based, practice, best practice sharing, and a component of storytelling. We don't like to read, so use a lot of video and keep it easy. Make the learning easily accessible, no treasure hunts, and available in the systems we use every day. I alluded to this earlier. We've written an ebook that offers more details on how to put some of these concepts in place. You can download that, that ebook right here. So that's it, folks. You can find me here if you want to learn more about Learniture, our sales training technology, or if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, feel free to reach out. Enjoy the rest of the summit. There's tons of awesome speakers lined up. I'm happy to be a part of it. Thanks.